Welcome to Defending Digital. I'm Chad Warner. Today I'd like to show you around Kaspersky SafeKids. That's parental control software and internet filtering software. So I've logged into the website here, My Kaspersky, uh, which is the parental console uh, or parental portal. So you log in here and go to kids and you have kind of the navigation here at the top. So um, I just have one child in here. You could create uh, more than one and then select from them here. Uh, I'm on the summary to start. Um, so it's telling me that location monitoring is turned off and uh, that's fine. I don't have that on right now. Um, and then you can look at today, seven days or 30 days, and then you get kind of a snapshot of the uh, child's activity. So you can see device use during the day, frequently visited websites, search queries. Um, if anything has been flagged, uh, websites that have been blocked or any of the search queries are suspicious, those will show up here. Um, you can see applications that have been used, devices that have been used. Uh, you can also turn on monitoring for Facebook and VK. Um, those are the only social platforms that can be monitored. I do not have that turned on, so there's nothing there. And then you can see uh, the profile for your child. And uh, as you uh, go through this, you can click on each of these to get more details, um, but we can also see that as we click through up here. So the next thing is, where is my child? Um, I have this disabled right now, but uh, basically this would show a map of where your child is. Um, and then you can also uh, create um, locations or, or areas um, where if your child leaves that area, then um, you are notified. So um, they have this allowed area, so you could say add an allowed area, and it would then uh, give you a map and you can draw out um, basically the... Um, the geographic region that you want to be notified uh, if they were to leave that area. So that is a, an option there for mobile devices. Uh, then you've got internet. And here, um, each of these sections, you'll see you have reports and then settings. And uh, so reports shows what has been happening. And then settings is where you can configure kind of your rules for how um, how things work, how things are locked down. Um, so you can filter here by all events or you know, show only things that have been blocked or warned or allowed. Uh, show me only the search queries and then you can filter by the devices the child has used. And you can just scroll through over time and you know, you'll notice things um, that are blocked or things that are allowed. Um, and so you can kind of scroll through that way. Um, if you go over to the settings, you'll notice that there are a variety of settings for internet filtering. Um, so for each of these, you get these kind of big toggle buttons to turn these on and off. Um, and throughout Safe Kids, you have advice for parents. And they have to just kind of a little snippet here, but you can click read more and get a box. Um, this is from a, uh, a child psychologist. Um, and so you can learn um, basically his advice for how to deal with uh, some of these different areas. And so um, just kind of gives you some additional information on which to base your decisions. Uh, some search settings, so you can force safe search on, uh, on some of the major search engines. Um, filter uh, YouTube somewhat here. Um, get notified if there are searches on res uh, restricted themes. And then you've got uh, 14 different categories here. And these will be automatically set based on the age of the child that you input. Uh, but you can also customize any of these. You can also um, hover over uh, or click on this to learn more and then uh, you can actually click out um, if you want to get you know, a, a fuller description. So I'm gonna go follow this link here and, and it tells me all about um, what is uh, included in that. And then for each of these you can pick um, forbidden, which blocks it, warning tells them, hey, we don't recommend that you go to this, but it will still allow them to and you'll know if they do. Um, and then allowed, which is just, they, there's no restrictions. They can just go and, and visit that. And for several of these categories, you can read advice for parents. So you set those how you want. Um, you can also set exclusions. Um, so no matter what category a website falls into, you can force it to be forbidden or allowed uh, by adding it to the list here. Um, you can also say um, all websites other than those that I've excluded are gonna be blocked. Uh, and that's maybe a good option for very young children. Um, 
because you can just set a few websites that they're allowed to visit. It's going to be pretty difficult for uh, any older kids because they're going to have just such a wide variety of websites that they're going to want to visit and that you will probably want them to visit. Uh, so then we've got device use. So this is what controls when uh, and how much uh, children can use the various devices. So there are a few different ways that you can set this. Um, so you can get reports on kind of how much time and when they've used their devices. And then if you go over to settings, you'll see the options for configuring them. All right, so, uh, so you've got Here's a mobile device. You can set a, uh, a statistics only, which is basically just monitor and just report on what they do. Don't put any restrictions. Or time limit is actually putting limits in place. Uh, and you'll see if you have multiple devices, each of those are set up here. And then you can do warn or block. So warn is just telling them, hey, you you are you've used this much time. Recommend that you you know not go above this. Uh, but they can if they want to. Uh, or block is just it disables um, at you know the time that you've set. So you can do warn or block, and then you can do by daily usage. So you can set um, you know a number of hours per day. So you could say, yep, yeah, they can use it you know x number of uh, minutes or hours on these different days of the week. Uh, or you can say a set a schedule. Um, so you could say, yep, yeah, they can use it um, you know from this time to this time on these days and you can uh, create a schedule that way. Um, you can also specify specific apps that are available even when the device is blocked. So if there are uh, legitimate things that you want them to use, you can configure those there. Then you've got applications. So this lets you go through the, uh, app, the software that's installed on either a mobile device or a uh, computer. And um, here's the reporting so you can see kind of what they've been doing. And then you've also got settings, and that will let you configure uh, when they're able to, uh, or which things they're able to access. So um, you've got the devices here, and it will tell you kind of the number of applications that it's uh, read from those devices. Um, you can search here by, um, so let's say I'm looking for settings. Okay, so it shows up there. And then it gives you a little age rating. So a lot of these are zero plus. Those are some of the built-in things. Um, yeah, so this one is 18 plus, 12 plus. So you can see the ages there. And um, I have the child set here to age 10. And so it's reading that and saying forbidden because of the, the age restrictions. Uh, but I could also go and change any of those. So um, allowed, restricted, that's kind of like the warn option. Um, so I can hover over this and it will tell me uh, when the limit is reached because Persky Safe Kids will block the application. Additionally, a message such as time is up, have a break will be displayed. Uh, so you can configure those. And then um, same thing on, uh, so this would be a Windows PC. Uh, and so you can have those same controls uh, there. Social networks, I did not set this up. Um, it's pretty limited because it really only deals with Facebook and VK. And uh, your kids are probably <laughs> either not using those or uh, using them very minimally and using other platforms instead. So. Uh, if you want to, you can set that up. Uh, that is how that works. And then you have uh, child's devices. And this just gives you an overview of those devices that we've been clicking through. Um, and so you can set, uh, basically connect or disconnect them here. And then profile. Uh, so I just have one child set up here. Um, you can set up more uh, if you'd like to, and basically you just put in their name, their year of birth, uh, and as we saw, a lot of these settings are based on the year of birth, so it'll, it'll do some initial um, restricting based on their birth year, um, but you can also fine-tune that, and then you can choose you know, kind of a, a profile image or uh, add a custom one. So that is a quick overview of Kaspersky Safe Kids. So you can see the rest of my post at defendingdigital.com for more details. And you can learn more about digital parenting and internet safety at defendingdigital.com.